If Extraction 2 doesn't get your blood pumping like a 4 a.m. lady of the night with a fistful of nose candy, then I don't know what will. That is right, friends. I just finished Extraction 2 with Chris Hemsworth and... Woo, yeah! I'm feeling that, uh... <laughs> that hardcore action sequence dropping... Hell yeah, pimps, let's go, type of action. That's right, Netflix, one of their top movies, Extraction. Perhaps even one of the best put together movies, in my opinion, from Netflix is Extraction. And now we have the sequel to Extraction, Extraction 2, more extracting from Chris Hemsworth. Let's extract it all. We're going to talk about it. But what I think is funny is it's perhaps the reactions to this, but... Just my own personal opinion is that this movie was, it, it kind of like went balls to the wall and then kind of softened up in the midpoint, but then got some emotional, feely, touchy things going on, gave us some character development, and then set it up for, I guess there's going to be, uh, spoilers, 18 more of these things. Who knows? Who knows? But let's get into it. I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown of the plot. I'll give you some reactions that I'm seeing out there. And we'll figure it out by the end what we think of Extraction 2. But all I know for sure is that the Nancy boys from the New York Times have some... They must be missing some of that good old-fashioned testosterone because they don't like Extraction 2. They say, uh, and who's the writer of this article? Robert Daniels says Chris Hemsworth returns as an Australian mercenary in this bloated, banal action sequel. Now, what I want to tell you, folks, is that this was directed by a stuntman. And the dude knows how to put the stunts into the movies. The, there's a 20-minute sequence, which we will talk about in this review here, that is pretty pretty awesome. It, 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 it appears to be a one-shot. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure there's some creative editing in there. But it looks really good. And it is intense. The actor, Sam, or the director, Sam Hargraves, is known for Atomic Blonde, Extraction, former stuntman turned director. I like it. Give me more. Inject it right in here, baby. Give me more of the testosterone. Uh, let's look what the New York Times has to say. A drab, brawny sequel starring Chris Hemsworth as the Australian mercenary. Uh, it's, it offers a turgid shadow of the type of crowd-pleasing escapism that blockbuster that action blockbusters used to provide. I don't know what more you'd want from this movie, but here we'll go through the plot a little bit, a little bit of spoilers, but essentially at the end of Extraction 1, Tyler Rake, which is really kind of the silliest name I think I've ever heard for a mercenary, Tyler Rake, and uh, there's a great cameo, and the great cameo makes fun of that name, which is also pretty good. It's kind of like an inside joke. The uh, script was written by Joe Russo of the Russo Brothers, who directed, um, you may know them from such things as Avengers Infinity War, a really great movie. Uh, so he wakes up from his coma, and they try to build him back bigger, better, stronger. Uh, there were no fluff scenes of Chris Hemsworth being all jacked and ripped. In fact, I could have swore there was a stand-in of him looking like a scrawny little moaf. Um, but that being said, he retires to a quaint cabin, fr uh, you know, from his handlers who were, uh, this, the girl, Nick and Yaz from the previous movie. And he's just hanging out when Idris Elba shows up to offer him a job. His, his, uh, ex-wife, if you recall correctly, his wife, uh, they, they broke apart because they had a five, I think it was a five-year-old son who died of cancer, and he was deployed to Afghanistan. He didn't want to face it, and um, they broke up. They couldn't bear the weight of the death of their child, but her sister is being held captive by a Georgian gangster, and, um, you know, the whole thing starts off with the bad guy who's, like, in Georgia, and he's, you know, him and his brother, he has to protect his brother at all costs. And this is the their uncle, I guess. And the 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 father of you know the husband to the the sister, and the, they have two kids. So 
let's get this straight again. It's Chris Hemsworth's ex-wife's sister, his nieces and nephews, essentially. He has to rescue them from a Georgia prison because he's been given an extra 10 years in prison and they don't, nobody likes it. Uh, there's not a ton of plot to this, but it's it's all it's all good because you get 20 something minutes of straight action. So essentially they bring Rake in to go get the wife and the two kids out of prison. And yeah, it's insanely elaborate. The they say it's a this guy says it's 24 minutes. He infiltrates the prison, housing the family, then fleeing with them through a crowd of prisoners. And finally onto a runaway train. They say edited less than seamlessly to look like a single shot. The scene attempts to one-up the similarly elaborate chase scene from the previous sequence. I thought this was better than that previous chase sequence. So they, I think they one-upped it. And they're just, they, they think it's just not graceful enough. Just explosions and cars flipping and blah, blah, blah. It was intense and it was awesome. Super awesome. And they're, you know, basically, they they, they get the, the, the daughter and the mother out, but the kid, uh, they get the kid out too, but then the kid, they end up, they're safe, they end up in Austria, and the kid betrays them because he still has, he doesn't want his mom and dad to break up. He wants them to be, be together, and he doesn't realize that his dad is a murderous gangster and is going to kill his mom and potentially his sister and him just because you know they're in the way and he's doing god's work it's in god's hands so he's doing the lord's heavy lifting and wants his sort of wants his family back mostly just wants his wife dead it's not real clear what the motivations are there because he keeps shooting at him no matter what happens he's just kids in the car it's all right it's grenade launchers rocket launch doesn't matter just blow them up It'll be cool if one of them survives. Eh, it's a win for everybody. So anyway, um, the kid betrays them. There's a big shootout in a skyscraper, which is pretty awesome, which then leads up to the final conclusion of the movie. Now, their complaint, there's no character development. Yeah, there's a lot of bullets. There's a lot of dead people. And it doesn't have any of the... This is not your John Wick here. This does not have any of the uh, the beautiful choreography, the gun fu, none of the fancy pants, ballerina stuff. Not that John Wick is not awesome. This is just sheer brutality for brutality's sake. Chris Hemsworth is not dancing around with guns, flipping them around. Nope, nope. He's just pounding people into the ground, and it's beautiful. Every, he's splitting people's hands in half. He's stabbing them. <laughs> He's getting hit in the head with a ba with a box of nails. He's getting beaten. You know, he's stabbing. He's using you know crucifix nails to pound into people. Like it's just it's just brutal. It's all brutal. It's great. I think it's fantastic. There's a there's an awful lot of sequences though of people getting shot with small gunfire like hand to hand, and it ain't killing nobody. Like I know they're all wearing body armor, but you're shooting a lot of people. Like some people take like ten bullets and don't die. So anyway, um, they're saying it's a loud, blithering mess. They don't like any of it. Uh, it sets up potentially more. They don't like this. It was a, it was a brisk two-hour movie. How often do you get two-hour movies where you're just like, yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, just to take a look, quick look at the Rotten Tomatoes, the critics have it at 75%. The audience has it at 89%. I am in the 89%. I think it's awesome. If you like Chris Hemsworth at all, you're going to like this one. Critic consensus is bigger, bolder, and in some respects, even better than its predecessor. Extraction 2 is an over-the-top action thriller done right. I agree. Disagree with the New York Times. I agree with this. I really enjoyed it. I think you're going to enjoy it, too. Was there any reason why you didn't enjoy it? Maybe I'm confused. Was there a part that I missed? There was. I have a couple of teeny tiny complaints with it. You know, it, it does slog down a little bit, and the ending, while is satisfying and enjoyable, he has, like, a really great ending to this, is not as intense as that first 20-something minutes where it's just like, oof. It's just, it's killer. It's just killer. So let me know what you think down in the comments below.
I would, I, we read them all. We take a look at all of them. So we'd enjoy that. Like, subscribe always helps. Definitely helps a lot. We could use all the likes we can get, even the dislikes. We take those as well in stride. We have a full length audio podcast that you can check out for free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. You can also come join us when we live stream the same show Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join our giveaways. We give away a lot of great DVDs and, and movies and digital codes and things like that. Come join us. Join the fun. It's a good time for everyone. It's a lot of fun, folks. But as for myself, I'm done getting extracted because I am on to the next one. <laughs>